Welcome back to Quantum Visions, and in this video, we're about to get into how the music industry, the hip hop industry, got some weird rituals that our people have to pretty much accept if they want to be famous, if they want to promote them. They're removing a lot of our avenues of making money, like selling CDs and things of that nature. But this brother right here, he about to get into it and give us all of the deets on how. The music industry is really turning our people out. If you like more videos like this, hit the like and subscribe. Let's get it. So they, they just close all doors for you. But for me, I didn't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying like, so you know, I don't want to. You know what I mean, but we just had to get. Yeah. It had to get. It had to get real aggressive and physical yeah. for me to get the contract. But um, yeah, so. So they were yeah. trying to um, control like the type of music you made. Nah, they controlling yeah, music. Period. They controlling you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying you sign an option deal. Yeah. An option is like an option is like like uh, two years. So they an album is an option. So you sign five. So you say typically an uh, artist, the labels you sign like a five to ten ten option deal. They got you for life. Mm. Then they got to approve of the music that you make. So you think like I right, I sign for five options. I'll just make the music. No, they just want to prove it. Mm. The label got to clear the music. They got to. So you telling me if I'm making my music, all right, I'm signing your contract in the music industry. I got to do whatever you say I got to do. I got to make whatever music that you got on your lineup for me to do. Like if I feel like my this song, I don't like this song like that. You like this song, but I got to put the song out because you say that this is the route you want to take my career. Man, this is crazy already. We just getting started and it's crazy. Okay, we, we accept you turn this in. So you make an album? No, we don't want this. Mm. It's like a mind fuck. What? I, I made the song. Nah, yeah, we don't want like this. Like 20 albums and they don't want it. But they using that, but they they telling you they don't want it, but they giving that music to other artists. And they still so you own that. Listen, yeah. So you indirectly ghostwriting. You indirectly uh, ghostwriting for artists. Like I tell niggas all the time, I made music for J. Cole. They be like, yo, you lying. You bugging. No, nigga. It'd be like a label. I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to Stadium Red. And it, I'm giving y'all niggas an exclusive. This is how the game is. It's dirty. It's mm. fucked up. I'm going to Stadium Red. So say J. Cole, he signed to Rock Nation, they got Rock the Mike Studios, and you could be recording in Stadium Red or Rock the Mike. You make an album, you turn it into the label, they go, nah, we, this shit is, we're not approving it. But they play that same music for either a bigger artist or the producers of that bigger artist. And then wow. your music, your concept, your ideas, that's on that artist's album. And mm. you don't get no writer's credit for it, you don't get no publishing, and nobody fucking believes you. Oh. You're a fucking liar if you say, yo, that's my song, it's not his. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that's how you this heard? game goes. You know, we have this label discussion all the time. It's true though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's real. You know what I'm saying? And so it's not just that, it's a fucked up business. Yeah. And and not and a lot of the artists that you see, like the big artists, they don't write their shit. Mm. They not, they not, nigga, they not, they don't write this shit, Because bro. even as you see now, you see people like Bobby's complaining, NBA boy complaining, and a few more complaining. And I usually say, yo, bro, these labels be, be, you know what I'm saying? They really be fucking these artists. And literally, because fuck they them. know the artists are coming from a point of hunger. <laughs> yo, you funny as hell. No, it's true. Yeah. Nah, but yo. No, it's true. It's true. It's, it's true. It's true. Listen, let me tell you something. It's true. Because, and, I, and the reason why. But a why, lot of the artists put themselves in that situation. You're not in the situation. position where you're coming from the ghetto and you're trying to make it out, bro. You're, you're not getting, you're, you're trying to make it out, right? Like, you really not putting yourself in that position like what he was just saying. Like, if you trying to make it out of the ghetto, you're trying to make it out of the hood, you're trying to make something of yourself. When you go into these uh, record labels, you trying to produce some money, you trying to get your family together, you trying to get stuff right. So, I mean, it really is it's not your fault. But when you sign in contracts, you're not reading them, you're not understanding what they got you doing, what they controlling, how much they controlling you then yeah, it, it is your fault in that sense. But in the overall context of it, no, it's not your fault because you're trying to do something that's beneficial to your family and maybe the people in your neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? But the, this world is wicked, bro. You you can't believe what these people are saying and you got to read these contracts, you know what I'm saying? You If you don't know how to read, learn how to read because if you're signing contracts you ain't read, these people going to mess over you. Let's get back understand that though you keep saying that or they did it you think when you're 18 19 you're, you're coming straight from hunger you're trying to make something and the label but, you see what he right said okay you. now you but see, you got it but you got it. but listen he said he said real quick he said something important 
earlier on. He's like, a lot of these niggas ain't hustlers. So that's the reason why a lot of these niggas that's complaining is getting fucked. But bro, because these niggas really have, wasn't getting it. Right. So that's a good point. That's the you. problem. Because, <laughs> because but they, every be, artist is not a hustler. But listen, but they give them, they give the consumer, they give the general public the perception that this artist is a hustler. Mm -hmm. So if you're really a hustler, you sitting back like, I would have never done no shit like that. Yeah, exactly. You know but, but you see it. You listen to what he's saying. No, go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. Not, you're not even getting so, what he's saying. So, right I, I am. No, but we, I mean, we all build it, right? No, no, what I'm trying to tell you, I'm, he's, he may think like, oh, this person is a hustler. No, he was never a hustler. The image was put yeah, out. Yeah, okay, now, nah, and you, he and they sold the image, guy, and, you, and they sold that, they sold your image to an audience. Mm -hmm. Now, for you to come out and complain about you getting fucked, my they label, should, you it makes you look bad. Right, because right, they already right, sold you right, as a hustler right, to the point people. Is you're saying that you he should me? not be complaining, even but, though he's getting but fucked. But they getting fucked literally, though. Like, let's be clear on this. They're getting <laughs> penis in their butt. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Did y'all hear what this man just said? He said they're literally... Getting fucked. This is not a game. Y'all going into this industry. Think this is not like back in the G. They didn't have no P. Diddy's back in the G. They had P. Diddy, but he wasn't doing the shit he doing right now. I'm telling you. He was not doing the stuff he's doing. He's the mogul that they brought forward to bring all of the little boys in. He's the mogul to bring all of the little boys in. P. Diddy is the mogul to bring all of the little boys in so that they could do what they want to do. That's the way that it is. Man, this is crazy. No, I'm being yeah. honest with you. I got to tell you, they getting penis in uh, their butt. Yeah. <laughs> For real. A lot of these niggas uh, have to do shows. No, 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 no. This is no, going no, no. This go back to what I was them. asking. You really, believe artist, that? Listen. you really believe that that really actually happens? Bro, what? Mm. Listen, bro. Listen, yo, oh, man. Yes, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> listen, bro. Listen. All right, check it. That's why you gotta. Everybody watching this, go back and watch the Math Hoffa interview. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I kind of like broke it down. Mm. And Math was trying to get me to say the names and shit, like, like really yeah. say niggas' names. I'm like, I ain't gonna, I ain't gotta do that because I don't want to fuck brothers' lives up like that. Yeah. But I say this: the music bitches listening to this shit got me fidgety, like. I'm thinking to myself, like, this This is not normal. Like, it's not normal. Like, I'm not about to sign no contract for you to control everything about me. No, we not doing that. We not doing it. I'll, I'll go under the radar, radar and be a wanderer before that shit happen. It's, it's ran by the devil. Mm -hmm. So, the music business is only designed to get as many people to go away from God as possible. Mm -hmm. So Facts. what happens is the devil needs workers. And by workers, he needs people who have influence, who can mislead or misguide people away from the light into the darkness. Facts. So this is why the artist is powerful. So the artist is the mouthpiece, okay? That mm -hmm. artist is the mouthpiece between the devil and the fan. Mm -hmm. That's and a fact. the artist's job is to get you to Throw up these weird signs. Mm -hmm. What are you doing this for? This is the bot for me. I don't fuck with this. So don't think I'm throwing this up because I, I don't fuck with this. Mm -hmm. I'm just showing you when you see these signs, when you see the checkerboards, when you hear them talking about demon time and drill and kill and all this shit, mm -hmm. even the actual beat and the BPM, it's all 808 drums. This is all low vibrational shit. Mm -hmm. So what happens is the artist is only the tool used to push the message of the devil. Facts. It's a spiritual war. So what happens is in order for that artist to be in position to even mis get, mislead the people, they have to be worthy. This is hazing. Mm -hmm. This is the hazing aspect of it. Now, this is we talking about Sam Smith, um, Lil Nas X, Lil Yachty, um, Lil Uzi Vert, Lucy Vert. People like that Like people who Not really thinking What they doing To the people to the, Especially to the younger kids Like me I'm good I ain't really tripping off of that I know that they wilding out But these young kids Growing up They don't know that They think that this This is the way to go You feel what I'm saying And what he's spitting Is real You look at colleges You look at fraternities You have to be hazed In order to get and to, to pledge, to be a pledge. A in order to in order to climb the ladder in the music industry, you have to be hazed. And when you're getting hazed, 
you getting fucked in your ass. So you think you, you say like basically this the, homosexual ritual? The, the I'm the saying the higher they get is more hazing. The, the crazy thing about it is my little sister was in there, whatever. But uh, she never would tell me what the what the deal was. Like she never would tell me what like what they did. Like I asked her, I'm like, it's me. I'm your brother. You you could tell me. Like she would not tell me. Um, if you listening, you already know what it is. But it ain't, I ain't gonna say your name or nothing. But for real, for real, like she would not tell me what they did, so I don't even know. For real, like and so it ain't. Hey. Yes, do. because it's more. It's it's more. You got to people listen, and I'm, it's not about being a conspiracy theorist. God said this: my people will perish due to lack, lack of knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Just look at the name of your show. So yeah, you got to do the yeah. science. You got to have knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Mm -hmm. You got to look. You got to look at what's going on, so you understand the purpose of it. Yeah. Yes. If you're in a fraternity, right, and or you're in the army, or you you whatever it is, there's fraternities. And, and for the record, the fraternities is based off of uh, Greek mythology. That's not even anything that that was had any true real substance. Some people might say that it do, but it don't. It's Greek mythology. It's not really real. Like it's just something that people made up that they wanted to have and they wanted to esteem. So, I mean, hey, if you don't understand that, you gotta understand. That People really reference these these Greek mythology, these these Greek fraternities and all, and these sororities. They really reference that stuff, so they kind of make that stuff they god in a way. Like if you really want to look look at it and deep dive into it, the stuff that they're doing, like them hazing and all that, man, that stuff is evil for real. There's there's levels. Mm -hmm. You can't get if you're a police officer, a sergeant. They got stripes on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. They got stripes for reasons. Them bars represents years, nigga. Mm -hmm. yeah, you heard? Yeah, yeah. So in order for you to climb this ladder, every ladder of success, there's a level of hazing attached to it. Damn. Mm -hmm. These are the rituals, but they're evil and satanic because the whole industry is ran by the devil. Right. I didn't say you can't be successful. You just can't be successful in the music industry and still keep your soul. You can't go to hell and say, "Hey, I'm bringing my AC." You feel me? Sheesh. So these artists, they're getting fucked in the ass because that's their ritual. That's their rite of passage to get. Every time he say, every time he say F N A, like my my brain just melt. Like I, I just can't fathom that. I can't imagine a man walking in the room after signing a contract and they got ten men in there with suits on getting undoing their ties and sh and getting ready to say you ready like i just can't imagine that i'm pretty sure i just put the image in your mind but i can't imagine actually that happening but going off of what this brother said i don't know him from adam and eve but he sound like he know what he talking about ain't nobody just about to lie about stuff like this this is too sensitive for people to go ahead and lie about i believe this man i think he know what he talking about let's see the next level of witchcraft magic or whatever that is and the reason why i expose it not because i'm trying to be a cool motherfucker is i want black people to understand that we have to stop letting these other people from not in our culture dictate how we create and how we um um uh, um use our culture our I, project I, our I music you know what i'm saying percent bro I mean, I'm like one of those culture type of people too, and I kind of grew up like yeah. with that type of mentality. But they getting fucked though. Let's be yeah, clear. Man. This ain't no. Yeah. Well, you listen, and these are they getting fucked, and they mad because they can't do nothing. You know why they can't do nothing? Let me say his last thing. Right. They can't do nothing because the record labels, the record labels, the execs, they date rape these artists. Mm. They, 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 they give them transformers, so you go, so they get high, they get intoxicated, and they have transvestites fuck them in the ass. Mm. They have transvestites drug them and videotape this shit. Why you, you, why? Look, bro, it just happened right in front of you niggas. The nigga with, with TDE, bro. Mm -hmm. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, 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 yeah. All of a sudden, how you got a video out of you sucking dick and somebody sucking your dick? Yeah. That's how the music business is, bro. And the reason why, let me tell you something. The reason why he was able to spin it into a win is because he committed the rest of his soul. Mm -hmm. If he wasn't with it, that nigga would have turned up dead somewhere probably. Mm -hmm. This shit is real. So that's what I was gonna say. Do you do you believe that's what maybe sometimes do artists? Well, from your point of view, do you think that artists is all are with it, or do you think some don't actually make it somewhere because they're not with it? Though I'm one of them. That's what I'm saying. That's yeah, that's that what I'm saying. I mean, I mean I'm one of them. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like the TBE dude, I ain't gonna even lie. They don't even know what that is. But that sounds so weird. Like the acts that y'all are committing out here. 
that sh was unheard of when I was growing up. Like, you're not about to just do that. That's just not about to happen. Like, for real. But I don't even know. Let's go. Like, listen, I I'm strong. I'm marketable. Mm. When I speak, people listen. Mm. I'm I'm top tier for the devil. Mm. Oh, you got to bend over? Now I'm good. What you explained just now is what happened <laughs> to Shakir Stewart. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, I'm gonna, say, well, I'm gonna say the name. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I mean, God bless it, brother, right? But, yeah. but what I'm saying is, is everybody in the music industry that you see that successful mm. is a homosexual. They have some tapes on him. That's wild, right there. People go, yo, <laughs> what you mean? Yeah. Every single one. You cannot. Every single one. You Damn. cannot. You. It's the. See, when you, you go, what, what, what you mean? You, you, you just talking shit. No, listen. Mm. You have to be hazed. You have to be hazed first. You have to go through the hazing process. Okay? And these French motherfuckers is some freaky niggas. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I, yo, bro. I, when I mean French, I mean Vivendi. Is a, Vivendi owns the music business. Yeah, Vivendi yeah. is a French company. So I say these French motherfuckers, yeah. this, is, this is real shit, bro. Why do you think artists, if you, if you look, don't look at the video, look in the video. Mm -hmm. You'll see the programming. If you go any video you watch, you just pause the video and you look you look in the video. You look, look, look. The colors, mm -hmm. the backdrop, the signs, and pause it frame by frame. You see it. It's right in front of you. It's right in front of you. Me, I can say it because I believe in God. Mm -hmm. I didn't sell my soul. There's no skeleton in my closet. That's why they hate me. Mm -hmm. I can speak about it. You see? Because mm -hmm. I said no. I said no. I said no to the devil. You heard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because God is greater. And I'm not built like that. I'm not Thanks. built to... I'm not with all that, bro. Yeah, I'm yeah. not you. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I, fuck that. <laughs> I be saying that I ain't with all that. Like, you're going to have to. you got to get rid of me. I'm telling you now, you're going to have to get rid of me because I'm coming full force. I ain't playing with none of that. I'm standing on what I'm standing on, and that is what it is. If y'all want to see more videos like this, hit that like and subscribe. I'm on Quantum Quantum Visions on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. So if y'all want to contact me, hit it up. Let's get it. Peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.